more than a decade after Albuquerque police launched a real time crime center where officers can tap into live video feeds of security cameras around the city. The sheriff's office is now looking to start its own version and they're asking for homes and business owners to get involved. News 13's Jessica Salinas has more. The sheriff's office is introducing its new efforts to the community in a roundabout table discussion as they're hoping to access cameras in the city and unincorporated areas in the county. It's hard as a business owner. Over the past three years, state beauty supply owner Flora Garcia says she's dealt with several break-ins into her business downtown and in the Cottonwood area. Anytime there's been break-ins, they're in and out under two minutes. She's just one of a few businesses now looking into the sheriff's office new effort to let them tap into business security cameras for real-time look at any crime in progress. That way we can be proactive in our community, answer calls for service and make sure our deputies have eyes on uh, for all the crime that's going on in the city. The sheriff is aiming to build that real-time crime center through technology from a company called Fusis. The new platform promises to give deputies access to video feeds from dash cameras, license plate reading cameras, and eventually home and business security cameras. Very important, uh, specifically also for the unincorporated areas. They've never had technology like this before. The sheriff is hoping that the community will register their cameras with the new system. They are eyes and ears and we want to make sure we're partnering with our community to make sure they have a tool with us. The county is offering two options. First, registering a private camera so the county can ask for video if it's investigating a crime in the area. A second $200 option would allow sheriff's office to tap into the camera live in case of a nearby emergency. The bottom line at the end of the day is not just to serve our community to get the crime down. I think they should look into it and I think that as a community if we all kind of help and we're all on the same page, I think it would just deter as much as possible. So far, the county says that they have 15 homes and businesses already signed up with the Real Time Crime Center. Jessica Salinas, CareQE News 13. The county says it's spending about $1.8 million a year in its new technology investments, and that includes new body cameras and tasers, license plate readers, and gunshot detectors. Well, this